Hi, this is Jamie with Compressor Source. We wanted to do this video to answer a couple frequently asked questions. We get a lot of calls and emails on people asking, why do I continue to burn up my pressure switch? Or how do I tell if I need a magnetic starter? And in this video, we hope to answer those questions. In front of me, I have a few different products. I have a hybrid pressure switch, which is a newer product to the market, a standard pressure switch that you tra you'll traditionally see on many different compressors, and a magnetic starter. With a traditional compressor, a portable small compressor, you're only going to see a pressure switch. These are typically always seen on compressors that are less than 15 amps and are about 2 to 3 horsepower. When you get above 2 to 3 horsepower and you start getting into the higher amperage models, uh, like 5 horsepower and above, you'll oftentimes see a magnetic starter. Now sometimes when you go to a farm store um, or a big box store and buy an upright or larger vertical or horizontal compressor, they only come with a pressure switch. Even though they are intended to need a magnetic starter, they only come with a pressure switch. That is because the company is saving money and they can sell at a cheaper price point. So a lot of people get home, they hook the power into the pressure switch, they hook the pressure switch to the motor, and they fire up the compressor. And either once a year or sometimes every few months, people are burning up pressure switches and they're like, why do I keep having to replace the pressure switch? That's because the, pressure, the contacts in the pressure switch are not heavy enough to handle the current that is flowing through them. And even if they are, if you have a higher amperage motor on a lighter duty pressure switch, it's harder on the motor during that start of the motor. So that being said, there is a few pressure switches out there these days that can handle up to 25 or 26 amps. It still isn't highly recommended, um, especially if you're using the compressor um, on a frequent basis, especially for a business application. But if you're just a homeowner, if you have a five horsepower compressor that pulls 20 to 22 amps, most of the time you can get by with a 25 amp pressure switch. However, they will not typically last forever. The right way to do it, the correct way, is with a magnetic starter. So what happens here is the power from the wall instead of going into the pressure switch now goes into the magnetic starter so you have the power coming the, from the wall going into the magnetic starter and then out of the mag magnetic starter to the motor you then have you still have your pressure switch on the compressor but you have just a single two wires uh, typically they're about a 12 gauge wire because there's no amperage going through them going from the pressure switch to the starter, and depending on the manufacturer of the starter, there is terminals laid out to connect to the pressure switch, but the pressure switch tells this magnetic starter when to kick on and when to kick off, and controls the compressor. But all your current is flowing through the magnetic starter, which is gonna have much heavier contacts in it than a pressure switch. And they make starters designed specifically for the horsepower and phase of the compressor. So if you have a five horsepower single phase, it's gonna be a different starter than if you have a 10 horsepower three phase compressor. So that is the correct way to do it. Now, if you don't wanna spend the money on having to buy a pressure switch and a magnetic starter and you're not sure you feel comfortable um, you know adding more components to the compressor if you have a five horsepower compressor or less um, which would be a motor that is less than 24 amps they make a hybrid pressure switch which i'm going to go over this really briefly and we'll do another video specifically on this switch but this is a hybrid pressure switch, which is like a traditional pressure switch. So your power from your wall is going to come into the switch and then out of the switch to the motor. This is going to control your on and off pressures and everything, but it has a built in auto reset button for an adjustable amperage overload. So if, and this is good up to 30 amps. So if you would hook this up to your compressor and you can adjust this amperage to about 10 or 15% above what your motor is going to pull for amperage, 
it'll kick out if it goes over that, which then in, re in return protects that motor in case anything would go wrong. And this is an all-in-one easy solution for a starter and a pressure switch but only up to a five horsepower compressor. If you are above five horsepower, you're still gonna go, you're gonna, you're gonna need to have the traditional pressure switch and the starter. I'll open this up really quick to uh, give you a basic understanding of what it looks like, but there's a contactor inside this starter um, where the, wire, the power will come in from the wall and then out of the wall to your motor. And then on the side, there's little uh, terminals that your wires from your pressure switch will go to to control the coil um, that's you know kicking in and out on this magnetic starter hopefully this video has answered most of your questions and will help you determine what product um, or component you need for your application but if you have any questions at all feel free to visit our website at www.compressorsource.com or contact us at 1-888-396-8676 thank you for watching this video and we'll see you next time